What's up guys? So today's plan is to put a new track bar on the Cherokee. I just got one from Mood. You'll probably see it in the back there. Ooh. Pretty. So we're going to put that on today. Probably also check the front end. Take it for a spin. So let's uh, do that. I'm basically going to show you how this thing drives, which is pretty fucking terrible. If I could describe it, I would have to say it drives like driving a wet noodle. You know, nothing's tight. Doesn't feel like. And there's just, there's so much play. If you can watch, there's kind of a tight spot. There's a tight spot. So, I mean, I got a good, I don't know, 10 degrees, 15 degrees in the steering wheel. So, roll the window up. Ooh, you gotta fix that. So, the very first thing that I always do we're working on the undercarriage of any vehicle from the Midwest is to apply some really good, a really good coat of uh, PB Blaster. So we just soak the nut. So there's a flag nut here. There's actually a nut welded to the back of this. So what I like to do is get up in there and spray that nut. To take this castle nut off of this rod end of the uh, track bar. Uh, as you can probably see or can't see, that thing is very rusty. So first thing is you gotta take the cotter key out which if it's as rusty as this one, don't even bother. Really what you want to do is fold that cotter key up to where you can get a socket on it. God, that looks terrible. Stick our wrench on there. All right, now we got our wrench powdered on there. Give her a rip. Okay, now we got our breaker bar on there. Let's uh, give her a rip. Once you got it most of the way loose, you can switch to your wrench. <sighs> there you go. Let's get it back down on the ground to disconnect that part. Because you don't really want to start pounding on this with it up in the air because the axle is going to want to shift one way or the other I think it's I think it's towards the passenger side because it's kind of under underneath the load right now if you can imagine so your track bar is trying to pull the axle this way your suspension and your control arms are trying to keep it pulled that way 
they're basically straight up and down. So right now, with it unloaded, this track bar has a bunch of tension. And once you loosen this or pound this, releasing that taper, it's going to shift that axle real quick. So, instead of doing this in the air, we're going to do this on the ground. Now, put the vehicle back on the ground. We're just going to hit right here, which is going to release that taper. So, make sure you got your favorite hammer. Make sure it's all greasy, you know, to preserve it. And then pound the hell out of it. real stubborn you can put some pressure on it. Get you some pressure on it. And there it goes. Maybe. Holy shit. That freaking thing was on there, Jack. But we got her out. The next thing is to take take that bolt out. She should be free. Alright, once you got the old one out, take a look at your new one. Now I always buy Moog. Moog uh, is owned by Federal Mogul. Federal Mogul makes a lot of parts. Uh, pretty good warranty on it. They do uh, problem solvers which is rather than just replace the stock stuff with stock stuff. They do their research. They find out why parts fail and then they try to fix them. So always appreciate that. First thing is get your freaking knife. Check out my knife. So this is what you get outside of this because this is from Rock Auto. It's just your standard crap. <clears throat> so you get your track bar, which has got this nice bend in it. Pretty. If you live in the Midwest, I would suggest painting this just because you know this thing's gonna look orange by the end of the week. And then you get then you get a greaser, a cotter key, and a castle nut. Pretty, huh? Nice new greaser. Castle nut cotter key. Alright. Stick it on. So now we got the old one out. We're gonna stick it back in. This is that flag nut I was telling you about. So it's just a metal bracket with a nut. Not even welded, it's it's kind of fused on it. I don't know if you guys can see those little ears. Come on, focus. Focus Danielson. Anyways, what I like to do What I like to do is put a little anti-seize on this bolt, not only on the threads, a little bit on the uh, shank here, because this is where the bushing rides. 
and it just kind of keeps it from squeaking, I think. Well, we got that greased up. Stick this in here. You want to make sure your tie rod or your your rod end is faced up because that's how it's supposed to go. Put that in there. Pull in. And this is always the fun part. And you don't want to tighten this right away. You want to leave it a little loose. Like you can see the bolt there is loose. That way you can get it up. And be able to tighten it up. I wouldn't actually tighten this bolt until you have it actually sitting on the ground. The next step is to insert your rod in into the upper mount, just like that. A little trick that I like to do is take the take a pick or something, stick it through the hole, and rotate the joint so that hole lines up somewhat straight with the bar. That way, when you insert it. You can actually get a cotter key in the hole. Tighten it up. Now, once you have your nut tight, you just insert your cotter key. Now the one I, what I like to do is put this longer ear towards the top so it makes it easier to bend over. You just stick it in, bend it over in the back, and you want to uh, push your grease zerk in. Add that guy in there. Tighten it up. Then the next step is just to grease this. Now, I'm not going to grease it because I plan on taking it off and painting it. Take, taking the track bar off again and painting it. So, but basically you want put, put, to put in enough grease in there that you can see this, this uh, boot start to bulge a little bit. You know, you don't want to go overboard and end up like this drag link boot here. I don't even think it can hold grease anymore because the, the boot is so stretched out or split or whatever. So I put in there, put enough grease in there just to see it bulge a little bit. All right guys, the very last step is to tighten this bolt to torque spec. Now you wanna make sure that you got this on the ground with all of its weight, you know, you might want to jostle a little bit, make sure it's all settled, and then torque this bolt. And that's it. Enjoy.